first thing I'd like to say that nanomaterials and nanotechnologies, like all chemical substances, of course can pose risks if used in a bad way. Um, in that regard, nanomaterials are exactly like conventional chemicals. However, what we try to do is to support the responsible use and development of safe nanomaterials and products that are being put onto the market by our members. Um, and how we do that is to work closely with regulators to understand the requirements of regulations. And I'd like to say that, for example, there are no new hazards of nanomaterials that we have not already observed with conventional chemicals. We have know-how and knowledge already on test methods and how to adopt these test methods for working with nanomaterials so we can get accurate and valid results from these test systems. I believe and will always argue that the regulations for managing nanomaterials are already in place. Regulations will always develop and that is fine. We're supporting of that. We're very supportive of that. The precautionary principle is a risk management tool. It's a process, a well-defined process, where if there are scientific uncertainties or we don't have enough information, then we have to set up and invoke this based on, on the, the needs or, or requirements from the risk manager, policymaker, risk regulator. But when we come back to materials, I say there's no need because we have regulations in place. So we have information, we can generate information for nanomaterials. And I think that it's, it, it really shows quite well that, uh, that uh, the regulatory system we have in place is, is, is working. Mm -hmm.